is large brown algae seaweed that grows in underwater ocean kelp forests. Because of its iodine content, kelp has become a popular dietary supplement. It's also rich in minerals, vitamins, and amino acids. It's popular to include kelp in meals, but it's also used cosmetically, particularly in deep conditioners. Kelp is believed to thicken hair, and its minerals are known to stimulate hair growth. Kelp is easy to work with, and I find that it's easily incorporated into clay masks. Kale and clay is my favorite clay to wash my hair with, but this recipe can be made with rasool or bentonite clay. Place the following ingredients into a heat safe bowl. As I mentioned before, kale and clay is one of my favorite clays to work with. It's easy to mix and easily washed out of your hair. Goat's milk powder is great for exfoliating your scalp. Sea kelp powder will nourish your scalp and strengthen your follicles. Aloe vera is used for treating hair loss. It soothes the scalp and conditions the hair. Honey has both cleansing and emollient properties. I love using raw honey in my DIY mixtures. I've also added some cocoa butter. Cocoa butter has wonderful occlusive properties and will help to lock in that moisture. Calendula hydrates and improves the condition of your scalp. It can also improve growth of your hair follicles. Glycerin is another wonderful humectant ingredient. Along with the honey, it will help to boost the softness of your hair. I've also added a bit of macadamia oil because my hair really likes it. Feel free to add whatever oils your hair prefers. Next, bring some distilled water to a boil and then slowly add small quantities of the boiled water to the dry ingredients and stir. Add as much water as you need in order to make the mask reach the consistency or thickness that you desire. Make sure that if you are using a stick blender, you don't mix the ingredients in a bowl, otherwise you could get burned. Finally, allow this mask to cool before using it. This mask is really easy to use and can be applied to loose hair or it can be used on hair that's in two strand twists. I find that washing my hair in loose twists prevents my hair from knotting during the wash day process. When I'm washing my hair, I make sure to focus on my scalp to ensure that it's thoroughly cleansed. Since I hadn't conditioned my hair in three weeks, I decided to add a bit of extra moisture to my hair by deep conditioning. Finally, I moisturize and seal my hair and then I install a fresh set of twists so that I can start the four week process again. Be sure to hit the notification button to view the final video in this series where I'll walk you through the final results of my protective style challenge as well as some tips and tricks for better hair retention.